Filipino black folks. And like I've said before, the idea that the sun is huge, okay? And the idea that when you look at space, the earth is probably even smaller than in this planet, dead star or whatever that hit the sun today, okay? You're going to see, I'll take it into the video that it got up loaded with uh, standard YouTube and it came off of Helio so then we have the right to share anyway to begin with so moving on here we have a object possibly of the super giants now these are our recent shots of the Sun and you see the dates and times so you can blow them up and also that they're messing with me because the idea they don't like me showing you I got uh, some more objects here for you blown up a thousand percent out of this uh, sky triangulations in space Basically, this triangulation here showed up down at the British site. I'm just popping this in real fast because I was going to take you to the solar shots here that I've got. And there you go. So we got more stuff at Antarctica. And uh, as you can see, where the sun glows against this bank, it doesn't glow here where the sun does when it comes up. And I'm sorry for saying sun, but this is our object, our Proximi Centauri Rigel Cantaris Cantaris B or Rigel Cantaris A or anything of the supergiants, okay? Because it's right here coming up at that time. And you can see the times that I've got here. Let's see what I've got up for next shot. And basically this was the other day, or it actually this is today, the shots taken down from Nehemiah, okay? And then we got this, and we've got some shot that I can show you right. First off, keep hammering everybody's head. This is a solar flare from the sun and the supergiants, and the supergiants kicking the sun's ass, okay? There's your date and time down here, okay? And there's Lovejoy. And I'll probably maybe be able to pull up something later in another video today. But that this object is so damn far off in space and back by uh, more than likely Uranus and Neptune. It, it doesn't bump into these stars. If anything that is around it, it destroys it when it does move, okay? It's humongous and it's not a hologram it's not a flare of the Sun and I you can see because the flare of the Sun goes right through the outlying outline of it way back in space you see for th b billions of miles for folks almost zillions of miles you see when you see these Soho shots okay these cameras are so far out in space you see way the hell out you see Mars that takes two years to get to Mars okay we get shots that you can see Earth and Mars, folks, and the Sun. This object is humongous. It's the meatball, and it's way out in space, way beyond where you're looking at. This is not a clear crystal ball. That is a humongous object. There are objects in the supergiants back over here behind the Sun that are four to 78 times the size of the Sun. Just letting everybody know. And size is important, and to remember that the idea that when we have showed you the shots, but I'll show you some more blowed up shots from, these are human beings out there, very easy to tell. So you can realize that the idea that when I show you the objects that I show you, it's not these gentlemen standing out there, okay? The scientists or whatever that walked out there. And more than likely, they're out there picking up asteroid material that's hitting the ground, okay? That these are three of the guys out there. Or, if I'm wrong, it's more of triangulation of objects, and we're getting a little bit different color because you sure could see earlier that the idea that that looks like, and we'll be able to take a picture of this. I'll snap a shot right now and be able to zoom in on it even more. So I'll put it into a thousand percent too here real fast. And then we'll back back out. Well, we won't back back out. We'll basically just scan down to it. And this is the Nehemiah station there. You can see the roof of one of the cabins that they pull out there. They're bigger. The cabins are bigger than the tracks. Okay, and then you get that image there. So it sure looked like three guys going out there, but that could be just a triangulation again folks so more than likely that's not any guy buddy walking out there that is a wild triangulation and we got those shots I showed you a little bit earlier so make sure you watch this last video folks uh, make sure you watch that was one before this one and once you see these objects folks and a lot of the stuff in space and also just down here on the ground seeing uh, electrical magnification okay now this is basically what you've always been known to be the northern lights okay and it, what it is is the pressure on our atmosphere as we go through space. And I'll basically, after showing you this shot, and you can read the writing and you can freeze what I just showed you. And also understanding that when I take it to solar, and a real fast explanation here too is Messenger, the satellite, more than likely is right on the, Mar on the Mercury. And that's probably what gave us, uh, it could be one of, the, one of the satellites who did give us that shot 
that we're going to take you back to right now real fast of that planet or whatever dead object in space or star or comet that hit. And I also thought we saw in the earlier video that I just showed you that I made and took from all the Sechi shots, it looked like stuff was hitting. And there's just undeniable that stuff's hitting the sun. So here's where I got it, folks. I got it from uh, somebody that uploaded a Hilo Viewer movie. And basically, there you go. You can't miss that planet or object it hits, okay? And it comes in. Now, there is a solar flare going on before it hits, okay? And it only comes to about right here. But as it comes in, you get a good study of the electrical magnification and so forth and protection of the shields of the sun. And if you watch this video down along this horizon here of the glow, you will see objects moving and coming by the sun or possibly going to also hit it or getting bounced off or something like that at another previous part of the sun is humongous. And yes, folks, there's a good chance that even right here, as this is getting destroyed or bouncing off the sun, that that is bigger than the earth, folks. Okay? So watch this video, and I'll put the arrow up here and freeze, and you can should be able to, I think that the player will come out of the idea. There, there is the time and the clock of today, of when this was taken, okay? So let's play this video, and you can freeze and see the same thing that I froze here and, and found, folks. So I'll, I'll drag it back, and you'll be able to do, I should be able to just write there in the new Java, and we want to tell Java we like it. Sometimes uh, Kerasoft gives us crap that, as you can see, it's flaring, okay? Now, if you put it in play and not me freeze it on these shots and keep playing with the player, you'll end up seeing stuff coming along here, moving past the sun very fast or beating up against it, probably stuff in the supergiants or whatever. And we've also seen on the other shots that I've shown you, there's planetary action going around behind the sun and around the sun, okay? So let's hit play, and you'll see that object and you'll maybe even see some of the action that I'm talking about. As you can see, there was something right about there. Okay, the sun's flaring, right? Then whammo, there comes that comet or planet, comes in and hits the sun, folks. So once again, uh, sun grazers, we love you. We love everything that's there. But the idea that you have even more explaining to do because we constantly as, and I don't call myself a layman, as far as this goes because the idea that we've been looking at this stuff enough that the idea that when we have tax dollars going out to people and sitting there and telling everybody and brainwashing everybody that nothing hits the sun kiss our Lilia at least anyway kiss all of our American white asses or any color asses okay because we pay taxes and you're not showing us everything because whammo something hits the sun and it's not just all them will come oh that's an amazing discovery today we know from seeing our past videos uh, People coming onto our sites and telling us that the idea that you're seeing a glitch and, a, and some kind of crap on your lens on your camera or something like this and that, whatever the hell, it's a bunch of BS. Now, if you watch this, I think you can see some action also hit over here on the sun, folks, as it comes in. And like we say, it's flaring, and you'll be able to see lava action and amazing and everything like that. And you can see someone slowed this shot really down really good, and this is just beautiful action that someone froze from Helio Viewer, okay? So... I want to give a big, big, big round of applause to Hilo Viewer. This is just awesome. Okay, so NASA and government people that try to cover up crap that we see in space, we pay tax dollars to get this stuff and pay everything that you, your paycheck comes out of our tax dollars. We want to see the shit. We're getting sick of this crap. We don't really care what you got to say. We can see with our own friggin' eyes. So here is it playing again, folks, and I keep the keeps player, and there you go, whammo. Okay? And this is not the first time. There's tons of stuff hitting there. Watch the video just before this, and you'll understand that there's a shitload of stuff hitting the sun, folks. The sun is in the supergiants, and it's getting its flipping ass kicked. Okay? So here you go, and now basically only people, six people or so seen this video, and I don't know who made a video first, me or somebody else, but... Uh, whether someone saw it or not, I don't. I didn't really pay attention to the description too much, but the idea that this goes good because you put a little voice action to it. Now, I don't know if they'll mess with it. I know I can hear my mic sometimes. I get my mouth a little bit too close. It's a big deal. I share raw data. This isn't a Hollywood production. This isn't no goddamn news agency giving you crap. I'm giving you the truth. Data, photos from up in space. And so, like I was saying earlier, that the idea they must the satellite is probably right along with Mercury, and we're getting these beautiful shots of the sun along with Soho and everything else that we see. So this is just awesome, folks. So going back to Nehemiah, I'll pop out at 
and we'll end up seeing in the idea that if you start thinking about size, then you also figure that more than likely that are this is not. It was kind of like an illusion of thinking that that was gentlemen standing out there because you can see the, the roof size and start comparing it. So that's there's a good chance that that might not be scientists. But we know that all the objects that we've seen before were not scientists. So go down and play these videos. And you'll probably see some objects pop up here again, maybe in this one. And there was one there. So uh, let me see if I can freeze back on that. Now at Nehemiah, folks, and then I step it. Okay, it's nothing there, right? Watch your clock right here. There, bam, there's an object. Let me zoom in on it. And there you go. It's pretty much 400%. And you can already see a halo. So it is a crystal from outer space, more than likely a planet or something. It's in front of our, because you watch our object come in. And let me go into 1,000% real fast. So there's a thousand percent and let me zoom over and you'll see, see this, this is the object of the sun coming and watch me hit the player. I'll go back to 400 percent. Now actually I'll pop all the way down to like 125 I'll click and now watch our objects comes in. Okay. It should be able to, I think it'll come right up in here. Anyway, it'll play fast enough that you're going to see that object. If you pay attention to the clock matching up, there it comes. Bam. Okay. So that object was right there just before on the, hologram coming in of Rigel and Centauri and there you go and then it popped in front of the sun and whoa wow we got some big ass object up there in the sky well look at that and search out Nehemiah webcams folks okay and you'll end up seeing that object there okay and I'm not really sure what I saw on the deal but I thought I saw something in also and that's not a bird folks and let me go a step real fast to make you realize that that is not a bird okay penguins don't fly down there and the idea that that is so damn big compared to look at the roof and if you know what one of these roofs looks like it's not a snow crawler that's an actual snow crawling pulled wagon and that's pretty much our object before that we showed where we had heat coming off of one of the tailings of it so a destroyed object basically small planet or meteorite or asteroid that's basically circling the earth folks or getting hologram down to earth this is a very small corner of that roof on that deal that gives you the humongous size of what that object is, more than likely out in space, or being and basically pretty much because it's being hologrammed down to Earth. And I can pop out real fast, and you'll understand that that is still there is the corner of the roof. It's one of the lodging scientific deals. They come out and plug their into their power cords that comes out on this line, which also is somewhat of a degree to deal that to help them with the. And I can hit start, and it's basically part of the. Uh, there's power cord there for them to plug in the poles so that they bring out there there are labs or whatever that have maybe cameras and research material or me, actually scientists in it don't do not know for sure and there you can see that another hologram getting down to the snow so very interesting stuff again down at Nehemiah station folks Nehemiah webcams you'll be able to pick it up this was out of the camera three okay and then our object comes in okay bam and gone and then you'll end up seeing it uh, dive and let me take you to KC station real fast or soon there bam you see it pop down okay and it's not the sun coming out because of the time pay attention to the time there I'll pop up as that was playing a minute ago now the sun will be coming up because it should be around the 500 or the five o'clock there is seven in the a.m. in the morning okay so you pay attention to the clock there earlier and that was not the sun okay so I got KC station queued up as it was coming in okay and here you go with KC had to adjust and here we go should play there you go. There went your object right up there in the corner. If I can play with the deal a little bit here and get it to play again real fast, not taking up too much time, you'll see it. We'll come into where I had it queued up here in a second. Getting a delay a little bit. But here comes your object. Bam, and there's your dark object right there where I had my pointer to the left. So I'll play the video back. You'll see the, the upper left-hand corner by KC Station This writing up right up here. You'll see that object come in, okay? Otherwise, I haven't really watched the whole thing. We've got enough time here. I think it plays fast enough that we can go through. Now, usually about now, you'll get a burst from the sun as it's going down. It's like M22 or something like that. And then we get the other, our object again. So the 28th and the 29th, folks, there it is come dropping down in in front of uh, not the sun, Rigel Canteris B, Centauri. There's a website address, folks. I don't have time to put in all kinds of cutting and pasting. But anyway, these objects show up right there on this shot, which is normally pretty boring. And yes, this is the o Arctic Ocean or whatever they want to call it around the Antarctic. Okay, they're at the little fringe of the port. But check out the triangulation that hits the ground right here and watch the clock. Back, gone. 
and you can actually see as I did that it, you see how it appears and disappears okay and there's the 10 minutes after when it's there and gone and they put the stake out there and they're basically studying triangulation of they probably truth out of videos watch them all